Panos from Checkmat, and we're here filming the fourth part of the series defending the Nikat from the sitting position. Okay? So, we follow the same thing. One, blocking, getting my shin, now getting the lapel. And then, before we try to do all these things, the guy catches me up and then he backsteps. Okay? Falling into this position. Okay, so how do we work from here? Okay, first thing, I cannot allow myself to be stuck in this position. Okay, when I see the guy tries to flatten me out and I don't do anything, when he cross faces me, pretty much everything's over. Because of his head position, I cannot free myself. Okay, so as he transitions in the position, Okay, I want to let go of the lapel, and when he falls, I secure the knee here with that hand, and as he falls, I try to get my other hook here, okay, getting his pants, okay, now, what do I do, I try to make him come this way, I try to flatten my back, and then, if you see, my foot is still working, okay, now I will switch my hooks and get into this position. Okay. When the guy tries to free his knee, it's really difficult because I keep him down and I have a grip also on his pants. Okay. So what do we do from here? Okay. I take my time and I'm ready. So I have to be quick and I have to do as much as explosive I can on this position. Okay. I lift with my hook and then I let go. When I let go, I plant both of my feet and now I try to bridge on my left shoulder, okay, as fast as I can and as strong as I can, okay. I take him and I bridge on his body, okay, so I can bring him down. In this situation, our bridge has to be pretty much like a wrestler's bridge, okay? Because we cannot allow him to just sit on us for a long period of time. So, when I see this, I release, I grab the knee, and when he comes, I'm ready to go. Okay? I bring him towards me, and I switch the hooks. Okay? So, I have to get him up, and then I go one, two. Now when I plant, I have to really get the weight on him, okay, so I can finish the position. 